Welcome back. Today's upload is a knife that's maker and this model was brought to my attention by two highly knowledgeable gentlemen, Dirk Warner and Metal Complex. Two amazing channels that everyone can learn from. So check those guys out and subscribe. The knife I'm referring to is the Smooth Criminal by Medford Knife and Tool. Inside the cardboard box, you get a carry bag with a Medford dog tag and a transparent Medford card. Being Medford's entry level or least expensive offering, there's no plastic Medford box. But you do get this amazing looking flipper tab, plunge locking, aluminum chassis EDC knife. This Smooth Criminal is in OD green with an overall length of 7 inches, sporting an S35N tumbled finish 3 inch blade, a blade thickness of 0.15 hundredths of an inch, handle length 4 inches, and a handle thickness of 0.55 hundredths of an inch. The hollow grind blade rides on a ball bearing system and the knife weighs in at 3.8 ounces. I've been thinking about which method I was going to get first and after looking into other models I went with the SC and I'm very happy with my decision. And now I've heard quite a bit about the Smooth Criminal's flipper tab deployment or lack thereof until the breaking period has passed. But I've purchased the Medford because of the button lock, which in my mind works pretty much the same as a pair of threes compression lock. With the push of a button, the blade falls freely. And in the same fashion, when you deploy the blade via the button and flinging the blade out with some wrist action, the detent is produced by the plunge lock's outer edge riding the stock until the tang is reached. The lighter detent, I believe, is what people complain about, which the push deployment method won't work. And even getting the light switch method to work is a little different than normal. But for me, the action is highly addictive. There's this ting that emits from the solid lockup against the aluminum chassis. The ergos on the handle are perfect for my hand shape and size. Nicely rounded off on every single edge. I can't feel not one hot spot, even on the pocket clip where there's no sharp or flattened edges also. I'm really liking this design in its entirety. Finger grooves are reminiscent of the slim midi, but fill up the hand due to the robust and stockiness of the criminal. The pivot has a sort of metal button look, and the plunger's face has the look of a revolver. Although the flipper's tab could stand to be a bit longer or higher in its stance, this would definitely restrict more of the blade's belly along with obstructing cutting paths. Needless to say, the most addictive deployment is via the button lock. Even though the concepts of the movement are the same as the access lock or the compression lock, as far as the blade's ability to free fall and free swing, I do believe two major differences still exist. First, the bearing system. This allows for a much more smooth free fall. And second, the light amount of resistance produced by the button lock allows for the blade to smoothly retract even if the button is released mid-travel, which is definitely not the case on the compression or access locking systems. The audible action, in addition to the addictive deployment, makes for one excellent EDC tool. And I'm happy to say, this is my intro to Medford Knife and Tool, and there's definitely going to be a slim midi tanto in my near future. The Smooth Criminal is listed in my top four knives of my current collection. Thanks for watching. Tune back in for upcoming methods and other EDC tools. Comment, rate, share, and please subscribe.